I got a message tonight. I hope that's okay. I, I really, I really want to preach. Is that cool? We're, we're in a break at the moment, and uh, I've been really enjoying preaching. And uh, so, uh, if that's okay, if I got your permission, uh, I, I kind of just want to get into this and go for it. Is that cool? Yeah, yeah. So, why don't you put your hand on your heart, close your eyes, and think about Jesus. Lord God, while we all here in this room have our hands on our hearts, me included, Father God, we just say that there is nothing stopping uh, what you want to do, the word that you want to minister tonight. Father God, I just pray right now that hearts are open and ready to receive. Lord God, I thank you that I'm merely just a servant for you, Father God. I'm just here dishing out the meat, Father, and I just pray that each and every person here uh, is faithful enough to listen, to chew it up, Father God, and to take something from this message. In the name of Jesus, that life would walk out of here with something new, with something fresh and something from you. Amen. 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 So why don't you throw that scripture up on the screen. Uh, get your Bible and turn to John chapter 1. This is, uh, this is an incredible passage of scripture. It's about a guy by the name of John the Baptist. And when he first he comes across Jesus Christ himself. And uh, this scripture is about witnessing. Uh, it has the gospel message in this scripture. Uh, this scripture uh, has so many amazing things, but there's, uh, there's a few key points that I want to bring out of this scripture that I hope will help you. Just, uh, just while you've got the Bibles open there, I just want to make a point that when we first moved to, to Canada, uh, I, I made a commitment that I would meet other pastors of other young adult ministries in, uh, in our city in Calgary. Because I know that the heart behind change is to connect pastors together and that it's not about denominations, that it's about a, a global movement of advancing the kingdom of God. And, and it's not about advancing the kingdom of God as in we've got some great business idea and we just want millions of dollars. No, it's not about that. It's about seeing lives literally change. And so when I was meeting with these Pastors, I had breakfast with uh, the, guy, one, the guy that runs the, the biggest, the largest young adult ministry in our city. And I was having breakfast with him and I'm talking to him and, and, and it was great. And, uh, and I just felt this real kind of threatening uh, a spirit to him. Uh, I, mean, I mean, like he, he felt threatened by me moving from Australia to Canada to start a young adult ministry. And uh, I was kind of thinking to myself, and I, and I was a bit, you know, like it was good, and I'm still connected with him, and that's fantastic. And then I met with someone else, yeah, and, and it was, uh, they got a pretty happening church. I think they got like 5,000 uh, people in their church in our city. Uh, but unfortunately, their young adult ministry is only seeing about 120 people. come to, and So there's, you know, some questions come up, what's going on there, um, you know. And so we went along, and we connected with those guys, and that's great. And we're still connected with them, and it's fantastic. But this... This thought that this guy would, would threaten us and threaten what we're doing in the city. And, uh, and so it's just a humbling thought, and I just want to put it out there, that, uh, that we've got a million people in Calgary, and 200,000 people are in our age group in our city. About 200,000, about one-fifth are in our city. And now if I was to add up all the churches in our city and add up all their young adult ministries and kind of put them in one room, maybe, maybe on a good night, We'd have a couple of thousand people, maybe 2,000. That tells me that we're hitting a mark of 1% in our city. And I was like, how can you be threatened? If you had 10,000, 15,000 people in your ministry, man, I wouldn't be threatened. Why? Because I know that there's still 185,000 people. <laughs> Did you like that? That's pretty special right there. I was good at math, um, but so, but all I'm saying is that, uh, is that Sydney is a city of six million people, assuming that one-fifth, that's over a million people are in our age group in this city, we've got some work to do, Come on. we seriously do, you guys are it, there, was, there, there is no one else in the city that's not here tonight that is here tonight, <laughs> that, that's pretty logical, right? But they're out there, and we're in here enjoying this amazing service. And so I want to show you some things uh, that will hopefully uh, show you how easy it is to make a stand to reach our entire city. And uh, I'm not saying that I've done it, and so I'm preaching to myself because I want to do it. I want to see 
200,000 young people in Calgary in ministries. I don't care if it's not mine. I don't care if I had 1,000 in, in, in our ministry and change and, and then the other 199 were in others. It's still sweet. They've been reached. Uh, so anyway, let's, let's get into the Bible because I love the Bible. In the beginning, the Word already existed. The Word was with God and the Word was God. He existed changes like from the word to he so it gives the word a personality he existed in the beginning with God God created everything through him and nothing was created except through him the word gave life to everything that was created and his life brought light to everyone this is the message for our city the light shines in darkness and the darkness can never extinguish it never Never extinguish it. People are in dark situations out there in Sydney, and, uh, and, and they need to know about this light. God sent a man, John the Baptist. God is sending you. God is sending Change Oxford Falls out to reach the young adults in our city. God, that's your commission. God sent John the Baptist to be a witness, to tell everyone the, the light, to tell everyone about the light, so that everyone might believe because of his testimony. See, when you get so excited about something because it's your story, when you get so excited about a new movie that comes out and, uh, and, and you're pumped about it, you can, you can bring anyone along even if they don't enjoy the movie. When you're excited about change, anyone will come. It doesn't really matter what happens in the service. When churches have it, when churches have what changes people's lives, when churches are moving under the power of God, it doesn't really matter whether we have fancy screens or, or anything like that. It doesn't really matter if the carpet's nice, because I've heard of churches, you know, that, are, that, that meet on hillsides uh, where, where, you know, loaves and fishes get multiplied and, and people are giving their lives. And, and, and so if that can happen, then, and then we can do it with this. I mean, what a cranking church. Yeah. 